because of my last video that I showed you how people are living in their RVs, today I decided to take you on a tour on my computer as I look at some properties. Some ideas so that you can get some ideas of some properties that I think that I should mention for you guys what would be good prices and pay attention to the areas because I got a lot of people saying well what area what area what area but pay attention to the addresses and the areas in there because if you subscribe to this channel you're going to be seeing the preview of a lot of the areas that I'm talking about that are up and coming right now and there's a lot of land there and you can buy land there but make sure that you go and you look at the land you definitely have to look at the land you see this this is a wooded lot you can this they're asking 19,005 for this property okay and the taxes per year is 230 dollars that's all that it is i can probably get that for 15 or any something something around 15 and it's a quiet neighborhood. It's a one acre. It's a wooded lot. It's close to both fresh and saltwater environments. You can build your home here. You can hold this for a while. Let's look at some of the pictures. So this is perfect because you're hidden away in there. You can park your RV in there. See, if you could drive in there, nobody can see you. This is what you want because you can hide in there for the next one or two years. And you can build your well in there. You can clear it just enough that you have privacy around you. Look at that. That's the perfect kind of environment that you want to be in. You can probably get that for 15000 Pay cash for that. You can get it for a good deal. And that's your taxes per year. That's all you're going to be paying per year. When you're looking at property, look and see if the property is cleared. If it's cleared, that's great. The minute that you buy land and you clear it, you already are increasing the value of the property. And most people are looking for properties that are cleared. They have septic, they have well, and they have electric. Those are the four components of land that increase its value. And if the impact fees are already paid for, that's another bonus right there. So sometimes it's might be a better investment if you buy something that's instead of land it's land with some type of a building on it about twenty five thousand dollars between clearing the land putting the well um, the impact fees and the electric and the septic it's about let's say it's about twenty five thousand dollars invested if you found the property with the home on it that's around thirty forty thousand dollars it may be worth it in the long run to get that because and it's a fixable property the minute that you fix it up now you it increases the value so you can be living there with the septic water electric already off the house you can be there two to three years fixing this property coming back every winter for six months you wash it you clean it you do whatever and if you're a handy person you can do things like that and you will probably be there a good five years and then in five years you can turn around and sell the property and make a good profit out of it if the market is good here's another great possibility this one is um two acres and they're both divided there's two one acre lots and he's selling the two acres for 17.9 so i mean you might pay a little bit more if you only want one acre but if you have 17.9 you can buy two acres for that price and then you can flip the other acre and sell it you keep one acre the other acre you sell it it's outside the city limits so you're not going to pay um city taxes so let's see the taxes are 101 dollars i'm assuming that's going to be for per acre and not for the two acres if you had thirty-five thousand dollars, this is a pretty good deal here's 4.69 acres for thirty-five thousand dollars. okay look at this look at this piece of land right here you can probably fit your rv here and live here during the whole winter time and you can clear some of this stuff and um you can probably subdivide this later on so you got 4.6 acres let's say that you sold two of those acre later on in the future as your 
property goes up in value, you can sell some of those. So that's not a bad thing. Let's check out and see what the um, the taxes are here. Here's your taxes. Taxes are three seventy-five a year for that almost five-acre property. Thirty-five thousand dollars. And you can, if you're gonna pay with cash, I would I would start at twenty-five with something like that. I mean, you want to check your comps, but you can probably, if you're paying cash and you can close quickly, you can probably get that for 25. You have to drive there and you have to look at them. Those of you that are turning to mobile homes, here is a great one right here. It's almost an acre. It's not an acre, but it's a mobile home and they're asking 45,000 and they're remodeling. It says remodel double wide mobile. So here it is, guys. You got your land. You got a home here. You can rent this out if you wanted to, or you can live on it when you're here. In Florida during a certain time of the year it's all being remodeled this is an awesome price for a mobile home and there's your land you can park right there you can rent the house you can divide it with a fence as long as you're in rural or agriculture you usually don't need permits for fencing and an agriculture fence is very cheap where you can actually separate the land and leave one portion um, divided for the for the rental part and then the other side is the part that you're going to live on and you know you can do this without subdividing the land physically you can just put fencing to divide the part that you want them to live on the part you're going to live on and when you come back during the winter months you can give them a $50 reduction off their rent because you're going to be consuming the electricity there so you know normally a class C hooked up to electric with refrigerator running and air conditioning running all the time it's going to run you about and i'm talking about my rv was my, my class c was 28 foot so i spent around 35 dollars a month back then in 2012 when i stayed at the rv park i spent that much money on electric so if you have a big class a and you're running totally on electric everything give them a 50 dollars reduction off the rent it, it doesn't matter you give it to them when they're there they'll be happy because they're going to pay you 50 dollars a month less and they know that you're going to leave in six months. You're going to be there telling them, well, I have to maintain the property and I have to do this and I have to do that. And, you know, checking the property and whatever. So this is a way to work it out so you can do that. This property is two acres and it's in um, Levi County also. Levi County is really a great place right now to start investing in. It's on your way to Cedar Key. There's a lot of land there. Okay, they're asking 79. I wouldn't pay 79, but look at this. There's a house, there's a carport, and a well. Okay, that means that there's well, there's probably septic there. That's a house. This two acres, you can fence this off, you can rent that house, and you can live on the other acre. And that is awesome. It's got three bedrooms, it's got a screen porch. I mean, how can you go wrong with a property like this? This, this, is, this is a great deal right here for you guys. If you guys are selling your home, you can park your RV here. You can rent it during a certain time of the year if you wanted to do that um, as a bed and breakfast. You can make this into a B and B. There's lots of people that are looking, especially in Europe. They want to come to the U.S. and they want to stay here and they want to be like in western areas, rural areas. They love cow pastures and things like that. And you can actually, if you're really good at design and decorating, you can buy some like little old shack or something like that created with the western look western theme there's a lot of things you can pick up at antique stores thrift stores you can make diy yourself you want to make the house look has that country charm that people are really looking for because there's a lot of people that are from europe and china and japan that they want to come here they want to write books and they like that kind of atmosphere and you can you can rent it as a and b seasonally um and you can be on the property so if you subdivide the land you can be on the land and they could be on their side of the land and when you have it rented if you want you can leave and go traveling during those weeks that those people are living there or you can be there i mean it's, uh, it's up to you if you have a lot of woods and fence between the two properties i mean it's pretty private and i don't think they will disagree with anything like that there's a lot of ways to do this guys i just want you to start thinking and thinking and thinking there's really a lot of ways I'm opening up your mind as to some of the things that you can do and how you can do this there's loopholes in every system you just got to find the loophole that's right for you and you can't find the loophole that's right for you unless you go out there and start looking at these properties 
and seeing something and let it call to you and say, yeah, well, I could do this and I could do that. This, this is another one, $54,000. Two bedroom, one bath mobile. It's a tiny house, people. It's a, Yes, it's a mobile home, but it's on land. It's on land. This mobile home probably cost $20,000 a few years ago, you know, and it's on land so it's worth the money now it doesn't matter if it's a mobile it's on land it's on an acre of land and that acre of land is going to go up in value they also have a, a workshop a workshop in there this is perfect for the single guy if you are a single guy and you want to have a place to park in florida you can still travel florida but you can come back to this location look at that kitchen that's awesome it just needs a little bit of work needs some cleaning up needs some paint needs some minor stuff but this is an awesome property look at that piece of property isn't that beautiful one whole acre with trees forested that's just gorgeous I mean even if you divided this in half with a fence and you rented part of that out and you lived on the other half why can't you so you're the owner you just have the need to come to your property you bought this property you need, you need to fix it you need to repair it you need to be there you park your rv there you work on it you can probably get away with doing that for one or two years now it depends i prefer that you buy stuff where there is no neighbors around and even if there are neighbors around try to pick areas that are not upscale areas they're more more rural areas agriculture areas you can get away with stuff any place that's mobile manufactured zoning you can get away usually with stuff like that um the most the biggest problem you're going to have if you have neighbors and they call on you and say something and then you're being watched or whatever so you want to get along with your neighbors too. Now you go back to these properties and you have a lot of reasons. You can say, I'm cutting the grass. I'm maintaining the property. I'm getting with my contractor. Um, I'm interviewing people and I'm staying here. You know, it, you can, you know, you, you have, um, um, you know, I'm, I got to stay here because tomorrow morning I have uh, these people coming for prices and I got to be here for the next couple of days. You can do that if, if you feel like it's heated um, when people are asking too much or inquiring, you can leave for a couple of days and then come back. Um, things like that. So you can kind of feel out the neighborhood and see if you're welcome there or not. If you think it's going to be a problem, then maybe this is just the kind of property that you just have to invest some money and put it together, flip it and sell it and then move on to the next one. So in the future, I'm going to do a video about what's the worst case scenario. What if this happened to me? What is the worst case around? We're going to break those fears down for you in a future video. So subscribe and stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share it and please subscribe.